Yo, what is up folks, Trev TCG here with the Explorer Qualifier Play-In. Uh, this is the best of one version, Explorer being kind of the arena pioneer equivalent, and uh, it'll cash in some play points. Woo. But the deck I'll be playing today is Is It Drakes. It's got a bit of equity right now, I feel like. It looks in a really good position. Uh, the list I'm playing has got a couple of like niche pieces in it, but let's have a quick over through before we happen to hop into the actual matches. We of course have our four copies of Crackling Drake. As our kind of secondary threat, we've got Ledger Shredder, obviously playing a load of cheap spells. This is really, really good. I'm just kind of chained through our deck as well. Get these big and online. We then also have four copies of Fable of the Mirror Breaker as our kind of like threat of threats. Uh, Fable in particular being able to like copy Drakes is really powerful if you get to that stage. And I also have a couple of things. Crackling Drake kind of like the key card here. Power equals the total number of instant or sorcery cards you own in exile in your graveyard. ETB draw a card. Super, super great value. Next four flying in the air, and that power ability um, means that you can even one shot your opponent with that. I mean, a couple of things we can kind of work to towards that. We have a load of early interaction. We've got uh, two torture towers here, a strangle. We have the spike field hazard, four fiery impulse, loads of cheap dread removal, with a couple of like blitz of the thunder raptor to deal with bigger stuff. So like we're playing like a blue red control deck early on. Like we can get that like get in damage with like ledger shredders and that's fine. But then we also kind of have this combo finish. Uh, Crackling Drake obviously can be super super huge. We have a one copy of Maximize Velocity here. A creature gets plus one plus one and gains haste inside the turn, uh, which means you can kill your opponent out of basically nowhere. Uh, and the jump start ability on that means you can discard it early to like Shredder or something like that um, and use it out of the graveyard later on by discarding a card. So super super handy. Obviously, things get exiled to things like Treasure Cruise, which is our big kind of like catch up, like big draw spell to kind of help us refuel. Um, still power up Drake, which is handy as well. Cool. And the last thing I want to talk about is I've got this one copy of Kazool's Fury. Um, we're still playing Cruise over Dig Through Time, even though like being able to tutor for this. There's, there's a different version of this deck where you go more in on the Crackling Drake Fury plan, but basically Kazool's Fury is a... Yeah, you can play it as a land, but alternatively it is a fling effect. So as an initial cast, cost a spell, cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature, damage to target equal to the sacrifice creature's power. So with Crackling Drake you can do 20 either between attacking with it, sacrificing it. If it's super late in the game, maybe you can just sacrifice it just to do last standing damage. We're just playing as like a Miser's one of here. Uh, it'll be fun. So yeah, one Kazil's Fury, one Maximize Velocity, the kind of really interesting things. Bunch of cheap red removal, kind of like expecting like a decent amount of Amalia, different aggro decks, things that'll be good. And then like Shredders, Drakes, Fables, and other interaction. Other interesting things, uh, Beacon Bolt also alongside Blitz of Thunder Raps are helping us deal with big creatures. To be able to reuse it for the graveyard as well, super, super handy. A couple of Jewari disruptions, we have some annoying interaction alongside three copies of Spell Pierce to protect what we're doing and kind of like play spoiler to different combo decks. And then, yeah, can trips, treasure cruise makes sense. Mana base, fairly straightforward. Stormcloth Coast, Vents, Canals. Only three pathways because I wanted to make room for a war. Uh, a mountain, two islands, two hall of the Storm Giants. Kind of nice thing here being able to have a decent number of spell lands. So, hey, we're unlikely to get flooded down. Well, if we get flooded, we can use them as spells, obviously. And hey, if we're land and light, we can hey, have some extra lands in there. Nice. I do seven cyborg cards here, but this is showing seven because it's best of one. Because that's the the format for the qualifier pay in. But rending volleys, disputes, for the rest lands. Feel free to ping me in the comments and I'll drop the actual cyborg. Um, but let's hop into some matches. See you in a minute. All right. Six wins or two losses. I mean, this could be a quite a short video. But hey. Let's see. Pretty solid hand, just gonna lead on the storm. Well, cool. Half pierce. I'm on standing with Ledger Shredder. Blue red on the other side as well. Interesting. Get the Shredder in play. We'll see if this is Phoenix or if this is Drake's or even like creativity. We'll see what's up. <clears throat> like, curling Shredder into Fables is like pretty good, I feel like. What's the plan here? Alright, Axe definitely implies Phoenix. I don't have one quite yet, that's fine. Um, We have a Drake. I think I would rather... And they have more answers for Fable than Shredder, but like, on turn Fable's going to do much more work. And then we can look for like, fourth land for Drake, and then later on look for like, Drake into a Velocity. It looks like at least they've started with a hand with, like, no phoenixes. They'll probably just play, like, uh, removal spells and look to go for a treasure cruise. 
I imagine. They do have spell mastery for fire impulse, but burn through too, so I feel fairly good about just running out of larger shredder. And also we can look to like catch something with the Opus. I don't care if I want to actually discard here. Things I'm thinking about, I'm gonna keep this file for now. I might discard the max size velocity just because it's kind of pseudo free. But um yeah, I'm gonna pitch this. We can always cast it again later. But we may as well get a good card deeper. Alright, well now I feel bad not pitching the the canal, but that is okay. Alright. If I have another fire impulse here, we will spell pierce it. Um but yeah. Alright, alright. Three, four, five. Not an eight mana treasure cruise, surely. So you might get mana consideration and treasure cruise in Phoenix, but you cannot play ever the consideration and temporal trespasses on arena. It makes the Phoenix like like a little bit worse. Um be fine in like this matchup, but in some situations, hey. Okay. Just not as good. Kind of want to make Drake here, like I'm not too worried about piercing anything, but um, we'll see if they do anything on the attack. Drake is like the biggest threat, also like can trips. It progresses our plan the most, and also with the Spy Buff Canal on play, we can then look to Drake Velocity next turn. Not that we've actually played many of the sorceries at all, but hey, okay. draw some cards. This also threatens Reflection Crackling Drake, which is pretty powerful anyway. We'll see what they get to fuel with. They got Is It Charm, which is like, okay. Kills Reflection, but being two mana makes it harder for them to bring Phoenixes back. Like, obviously, they had some fine Phoenixes, which at the moment they've not shown any or shown in the graveyard. So, hey. Okay. Shredder into an art. We both get to trigger here. Um, I should discard the Spy Buff Canal, I feel like, but, like, the Shredder's really not doing too much right now. Um,. We also have the hall. I think I want to do this, just get the counters on. We can also, at worst, like pitch Barbara Canal to the maximum velocity. Wait, 2 1 4 crackling drinks. Right, this is a 2 4. Um, I'm going to lead off just activating Reflection on Drake. They didn't find a fourth line, which is huge for us. And draw a card. Uh, canals. Oh, impulse is good. I actually don't have. Um, <laughs> Uh, thing of a jig enabled. So I'm on the fifth one. Four, five, four. If I'm playing this and holding up spell pierce, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think I want to play this with the max so velocity next turn. I want to do this. Maybe a little too early, but just go to attacks. A block here. This way we've also not cast a spell. Feels pretty decent. Um, and then we can just end here with spell pace around. Nice. <clears throat> so yeah, we're looking at like Cracking Drake, give it haste. Or uh, we can actually activate this. That's all they do. Assume they're not gonna pay mana here. Yeah. Um. Kind of just want to spell pierce this. If they pay the two mana here, it gives them only one mana left of a turn. Like, this seems better than trying to fight through whatever they draw off of it. And we actively kind of want the spell pierce in our graveyard for these as well. Yeah. If they're not playing a removal spell, this should be. Uh, I'm just gonna just. Mm. I just got the fiery impulse. Actually. They're not playing another creature here, and we want the drakes as big as possible. Uh, we do cruise, so let's go ahead and blue activate the crackling drake. The crackling drake draw here. Yeah, I was gonna say they they know they're kind of cooked. All right, nice one eye. Five more to go. All right, one eye. So yeah, again, six wins or two losses. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, gonna go ahead and keep this. Got a lot of stuff going on. Don't have any like super body removal. Uh, this looks like um, Quintorius combo, which means we need to try and find a spell pierce as soon as possible. Just gonna lead on Hall. Yeah, I think Quintorius is the most common Kruger deck nowadays. Like there are still people playing enigmatic fires for sure, 
Uh, it could be enigmatic actually. With, with Fable Passage, it's more like it's almost more likely to be enigmatic, but still. Um, okay. You don't love like all your removal spells. One Turbo to Treasure Cruise, finding an extra land. Uh, I am just gonna run out the shadow here. Kind of half expecting an answer. We'll see what they fetch. Like, it could still kind of be either, but I think with Passage you're more likely to be on Enigmatic. But that might also be uh, misin <laughs> misinformation and false. Um, what do you see? What's going on? Okay, Fable definitely implies Enigmatic Incarnation. Well, yeah, it's definitely Enigmatic Incarnation and not um, the... Oh, well. It looks to be Enigmatic Incarnation. Can't say for absolute certain. But... Uh, more likely to be that than, ugh. um, well, it can't be the Victoria stack basically because we've got a three, three drop. Do I want a fable here, or do I want to interact? Giving them like acceleration is pretty dangerous. I think killing this is pretty good. Hmm. But fable. I'm gonna like, pass on Fable and go for. So I want one more creature removal spell, but I also want to put out the Treasure Cruise on. I think I'm gonna bin this. Alright, Velocity is an interesting one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and torch the, the token here. <clears throat> Pitch one of these. Alright. Goes up. Yeah, like it could just be like some kind of Kruger on that show. Um But yeah. Off of like Trial and Kruger would normally expect it to be either um Ventorious or Enigmatic Flies. We do set an arsenal there as well. Alright, there's the black source. What do we have? Second fable, okay. Not a not hitting the land here is rough. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I do you just want to like cruise away. You could also just say, oh, I was going to hit this and then back. But missing land drops here is pretty bad. Hmm. I'm going to fire this opt off. We can either opt cruise or uh, opt favor if we hit a land. That's that's definitely annoying, but okay, we definitely don't need another Shadow Cruise right now. Alright, hitting the Drake is, is tough, but hey, um, we have seven for this. This one. Just don't hit the land at all. Okay. And end turn. Uh, I kind of want to keep the velocity. It feels bad. We just turned this off. We have the spell pierce up to interact with. I'm going to pitch a shredder. Okay. <clears throat> Veloc like, Drake into velocity is one of our ways to just kind of win the game. Oh, this actually does this does count. Exile as well. Yeah, we kind of have to deal with these things. Nah, in a tough spot, I think. Having to kind of like dig for lands with Shredder rather than be able to just kind of like play out these is a little tough. Yeah, Golos. At least I can't find Field of the Dead. <laughs> I'm playing a lot of Timeless. I have some pretty exciting decks to showcase. I'm not. And I've done a few different interesting things, but I've got some pretty hype stuff. Like someone was asking for a Nexus list, of like a mono blue Nexus Lotus Field deck, which looks really, really sweet. Um, we still just don't hit the land. Gonna go Shredder. Bullet Triple Action. Take a loot. Damn. It's hot out here. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough, I guess. They have binding. I think they have binding. Yeah, okay. 
Eef. Well, if we work through these, it does make the drakes kind of life. We just need to not die before we draw. We also need it needs to be a red man as well before um before that. Yeah, it looks like, like just more of a. Mm, excuse me, like that you create like. I don't know. They have like Tosmir. I don't. Know. I don't This is definitely going to deny us some time. Uh, so they can go copy... Actually, these are both legendary. This is legendary. You can copy the tokens though. We still just don't hit our land. This is, uh... This is tough. I think we just scoop this one. Alright. We're not coming back into this. Okay, we're one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Uh, one one playing for our tournament life now, at this point. Yeah, pretty unfortunate not to hit another land there. we put one down to variants. We're like a little tuned for small creature decks, just the number of like cheap removal spells we'll play. But I think that's a fine place to be. Um, Gigantha, I would expect. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> not this. I was not expecting Murfolk, like Cavasol's Murfolk after the Gigantha. Again, so. Which, hey, that's maybe on me. Um, don't say pass. Let's assume you named Murthoric, yeah? Yeah. Let's find some of those cheap removal spells. That's the plan here. Given we have Treasure Cruise, we want to opt for consider. These Mist Callers don't really do much versus us, but are a nice choice, I think. Like, there's pretty good versus a lot of creatures in the, the decks in the format. Um, we definitely don't want this anymore. Alright, Spell Pierce, a little awkward. Also, don't know, like, assumedly they're playing green given they have Gigantic in their deck. Um, but hey, not a guarantee. Mm. Yeah, we'd like to pass here. If there's something like Pierce, I don't want them to use it on our turn. I'd rather them use mana on theirs. We will opt to try and find a removal spell. See how that goes. Mina. Uh, I'm gonna opt here. So, Kamina can tap three untapped Merfolk to draw a card. Um, I will take an Impulse. Impulse is not big enough to kill Kamina. But I am going to kill one of these before it hits the battlefield, just so. Like, maybe they want to just attack, because, like, hey. They're kind of slowing diving around. But, at the same time, this way we don't give them the option. And we're going to use the removal spell when it attacks anyway. So. We have a few different things. Ooh, the Kazel's Fury is an interesting one. Um, maybe not the matchup for it, to be honest. But, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and just like main phase this opt. Um, again, we don't have a removal spell, so like if we hit like a shredder, something like that, torch the tower, uh, is something that we would like actively want. Also, if they're playing green, we maybe have to worry about collecting company. So having untapped land here, keep up spell pierce is maybe more valuable than yeah, I think so. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> the uh, more valuable than like getting the steam entered uh, without paying life. I'm trying to like sneak around. We'll see. I'm just gonna beat us down. Sort of thing. <clears throat> Maybe you should have just done this like in combat, save yourself some damage, but I think this is okay. Um, six. Ugh. I don't love this. Like they're really heavily telegraphing. But well, no, they can't cast collect company. Don't know. But they can have like time binders, some other stuff. Could be pretty annoying. Hmm. Also, flash like the flash muffet lords. There's actually a bunch of cards need to worry about. We can like just try to cruise here, that might be the best plan. I kinda like that over everything else. Like, reasonable chance gets counted, but them having it. We'll see. Um, we kinda need to get through their resources, their like, resources at some point. And the spell pieces are not cutting it right now. We're gonna tie bind to the shredder. 
Okay, so you see those are draw the cards. That's maybe the best way it could have gone already. <laughs> but hey, we maybe get to block this here. But we'll see. I think it's like tap and untap my opponent to get it unblockable. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to dab it straight away and get the loot. Okay. Extra coming in the bin. Uh, I'm going to block the time binder. We can play this. Oh, no, okay. They're going to play the long game. All right. Ugh. What does that mean for us? I don't necessarily want to just like slam a Drake here. Oh, I kind of do, but... Uh, if we slam Drake, it like gives us like direction towards a potential lethal. I'm going to consider first. If we hit a land, then I'm happy playing it. I definitely don't want disruption now. Okay. So it's either Beacon Bolt on Kamina, or we go Fable. I think I'd rather Bolt. Oh yeah, the Legend Shred is actually just turned off. Uh, do I want to play this? We have Drake's a 9. Mm, I think we have a turn. Alright. Talk about a gamble. We might just throw the Legend Shred under the bus here. We have Crackling Drake into Fury plus Spell Piss. I'm just going to block here. We'll see how this works out, because it might not at all. Alright, they have X catcher and that makes it a little bit harder. So this thing says counter target on creature spell unless controller pays one. By sacrificing a merfolk. Um which is pretty good. We're at nine two, T four, nine. They have a mutavolt. We're just dead. Mm, if I play this, I can block one of the Yeah, we are just dead. Dead dead. Uh let's try to see the removal spell. Gets us a little bit of leeway maybe. They also can just have spell piss man up. Yeah. We've like been able to act a little bit with our creatures, but not tons. We did not hit a real spell. Uh I'll pass, see what they do, but we are uh in trouble. Yeah, we are dead on board. <clears throat> There's a mute vibration. Alright, well, this has been pretty rough. Um Yeah. I mean we hit a couple of other removal spells, but we can actually like not be able to interact with it. Uh four four, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are dead on board. Okay, okay. And like slightly punished for the Kazil's Fury, I think, here, but uh, I still kind of like it. I'll do a little bit of a post game wrap up in a sec. Okay, we went 1 and 2, which is uh, not fantastic, but we get 1,000 gems back. Fair enough. Um, the list, I'm still like pretty happy with. There's a couple of kind of like personal choices which maybe are like a little greedy. Both the, the velocity, which we ended up drawing both games, the one of and also the Kazil's Fury there kind of maybe punish us a little bit, but like it's pretty hard to say. I think we were kind of losing the second game, and it also gave us the out of being like, okay, if we slam Drake there, we maybe do get to just Fury away. But Moko in particular is actually a little tough. I mean, and not being able to be like just like straight up answer, but these cards, we didn't really see any of the blitzes, um, or we saw a Beacon Bolt, but quite late on. That's like fair enough, but I am pretty happy with the list. If you're like, hey, I like Drakes, but this isn't quite what I want to be doing, these two could easily be extra removal spells. Um, or some alternate things. You could play like a second spike called Hazard over the Kazeel Sphere. I think that's like pretty, pretty solid. Threat wise, I do think that this is the way to go. I have seen people cut Crackling Drake, but it's kind of the. It's like. Uh, when, when is the best card on the deck? It's like the really, really best card on the deck. It's like. I don't know. It, 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 the reason not to play it, I guess, is because you're worried about um, faster combo stuff, and these just being dead in your hand. So something like a Marley, where they can kind of combo you on turn three, and this, like, you can't afford to tap out for it. That is fair enough. But I think gener generally, especially for the arena meta, I think that Drake is, is totally reasonable. But yeah, one and two here. We get a thousand gems back, but a little bit of a sad day. I'll probably see if I can get on the best of three qualifier. 
But um, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, even if it's a little short and a little disappointing, but um, yeah. Take care. Have a great week. Be soup.